solve your linear system by graphing, by substitution, or by elimination, you're going to find the point where they cross as a solution. You need to be able to check to see if you're right. If you can check, you can get 100% because you know you're right. So what we need to do is we need to take this solution point and substitute it back into both equations to make sure that we're right, right? It can't be true for one and not for the other. And what I mean by true is it has to be a balanced statement. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the y, we're going to take out the x. Take out the, oh, this should be a y, and take out the x. I messed up my equation here. All right. And then we're going to substitute in. This is my x, this is my y. So x goes here, y is my 4, which goes here. And I'm just double checking to make sure now, is this a true statement? This would be 4, negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3, and that gives me 7. Yep, true statement. This gives me 8 minus 5. Does that give me 3? true statement. All you need to do is substitute in your values to see if it makes a true statement for both lines. That's a check. And remember, you know you love math.